Hello, welcome to Oben. I'm Akaru Bagale by hosting this program. Today I joined the Turkish ambassador to Ethiopia, Yabrak Hal. Many thank you for joining me, ambassador. Thank you for inviting me to your program. The first embassy of Republic of Turkey in Sub-Saharan Africa was opened in Tintinne, Addis Ababa in 1926. Today, the relationship between the two countries described as excellent, both economically and politically. How can you express the historical relationship between Ethiopia and Turkey? You know, even before 1926, for centuries, there were very good relations between then the Ottoman Empire and uh, Ethiopia. Uh, people went back and forth, there was trade, we have many old books talking about, as we called it then, Habeshistan, uh, Ethiopia. Uh, it's uh, a very, very long history. And diplomatic relations were actually first established in 1896 by Menelik II and Abdul Hamid II. There were diplomatic relations already. And in 1912, uh, Turkey, the Ottoman Empire opened its consulate in uh, opened its consulate in Harash. That was very nice. We now restored it. It's there as a good cultural institute, a museum, to show the historic relations. Uh, very soon afterwards, Ethiopia in 1933 opened uh, its embassy in Ankara. And uh, so these historic relations have served as the basis of our excellent relations of today. Emperor uh, Haile Selassie also visited two times uh, Turkey. Yes, yes, he was very much loved in Turkey. He came back and forth. Yes, he was very well known. Uh, today, everybody still knows Haile Selassie in Turkey, even young people. Because of the course, in both humanitarian aid and the, in development in Ethiopia. Tell us more about this. Tika is the Turkish Development Cooperation Agency. They have an office here in Addis Ababa and they also have a, 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 an agreement with the Ethiopian government, so they are working here legally. Uh, they have done many good things. The two main projects that happened was the Nejashi tomb uh, near Mekele uh, that they restored for uh, five million dollars. Uh, and then another project was the Harar Cultural Institute, the old Ottoman uh, cultural house that uh, consulate that was restored. And apart from that, of course, they have done many sustainable development projects, vocational training for women uh, or food aid. Uh, all over, uh, all over uh, Ethiopia, not just near Addis, all over all the regions, and they are working very hard to do even more. Turkish team are active in Ethiopia. They are creating the opportunity for Ethiopian uh, youth. How can you express the current economic uh, relationship between the two countries? Let's start with the investment issue. Usually in Ethiopia, when you say Turkey, everybody talks about investment. Uh, that's normal in a way because we are the second biggest investors here in this country. Uh, we have 225 companies employing around 25,000 Ethiopians. Uh, so that shows uh, the level of uh, the, the, that they are here for a long time. They provide vocational training. They bring in technological know-how. They make sure that Ethiopians learn exactly what's happening in the factories and they become mid-level, high-level managers. So these companies become a part of Ethiopian society. I have visited many of them. They are huge. They export. They bring in uh, foreign currency. Uh, of course, they do face some problems sometimes, but I think the Ethiopian government also realizes how important these investments are. Uh, High-level officials are always telling me to bring in more Turkish investment, which is really what we're working on. We want more and more. But it's only, of course, if these investors here are doing well, then they become the ambassadors more than me. Then that's when new investors come into Ethiopia. On trade, uh, it's been going well. We've increased our trade a lot. We are now at 650 million US dollars. However, it could increase even more. We're not buying Ethiopian coffee. We're not buying Ethiopian sesame. We should be. Why aren't we? It's because, uh, of course, that there's no preferential trade agreement. We need to sign this agreement so that tariffs will go down. So we're asking our Ethiopian counterparts, let's sit and let's negotiate and it will be even better. That's where we are on investment and trade, but there are many other areas in our relations that we should be also focusing on. I think that in terms of trade, there is unbalance, unbalance of trade. 
Exactly. That's why we're saying we need a preferential trade agreement. Because we know that when the trade is unbalanced, it doesn't work. Then one country doesn't want to do this anymore. We want to be able to trade in a balanced way with Ethiopia so we can trade for decades and decades to come. But in order to do this, we need this preferential trade agreement so that we can buy more from Ethiopia as well. How can you explain the, the political relationship between the two countries? Well, you're asking me this at a very good time, because even last week I would have said the political relations are good, but now I can say they're even better, uh, because His Excellency, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Demek Emekonen, was in Turkey this week, Monday and Tuesday. He had talks with my Foreign Minister, His Excellency Mevlüt Çavuşoğlu. They opened uh, the new Ethiopian embassy, that was obviously an Ethiopian embassy before, but the new building. Uh, and they celebrated together the 125th uh, anniversary of Turkish-Ethiopian relations. So the 1896 beginning of diplomatic relations I told you about, there was a big ceremony. And so it was very symbolic in showing how old our relations are. And the two ministers were able to sit down for many hours and talk about all the issues on the table and how we can take them forward. Uh, now we need more visits, is what I think, as ambassador in Ethiopia. We, uh, my minister said he hopes to be able to come to uh, Ethiopia soon on another visit, to be able to visit his counterparts here. And maybe we will have a, have a high-level visit later on, the president or the prime minister. We will see about that. And, of course, we need to do more on parliamentary visits. Parliamentarians need to come back and forth. With COVID, it's been a little bit difficult. That's what has held us back a little bit. But now I think we're getting used to living with COVID, so the, these visits have started. It is obvious Ethiopian government undertaken law enforcement uh, measures in the United States on the successful accomplishment of the law enforcement operation in the the rehabilitation and the reconstruction work that the government of Ethiopia has been undertaking since its then. So how do you see the current situation of Ethiopia? Turkey always uh, emphasized one thing. For us, Ethiopia, one number one, is an old friend. Number two, we're big investors. You are a big, big regional power. We want your stability, your peace, your prosperity. It's very important for us. So what we always said was, we think that the most important thing is the territorial integrity of Ethiopia, the political unity of Ethiopia. Uh, now we're seeing that there are some humanitarian issues in the north that uh, the Ethiopian government is doing its best to allay. Uh, and as a big humanitarian actor, Turkey has said it's also ready to help in any way that the Ethiopian government wishes it, of course, with your guidance. We hope to be able to help there. I think in general, Ethiopia, when we look towards the future, we see it as a, a very important regional power. We've seen the mediation of efforts of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed before in, between many countries. Uh, we see the potential that it has economically. That's why we're investing so much here. We see it as having a very bright future, and Turkey is here to also assist in any way it can. In order to strengthen uh, relations in the fields of education, the Turkish government provides undergraduate and the postgraduate scholarship for Ethiopian students. Tell us more about this. Yes, uh, we provide around 100 scholarships a year for Ethiopian students. There's a, the biggest one is for, with the, uh, there's an exam that we put on our social media so that everybody who's following can see when there are exams. Uh, and uh, we send these students to Turkey to do undergraduate studies, master's studies, doctorate studies, it depends, in all kinds of fields. And I have seen the graduates come back and they really are like uh, bridges between Turkey and Ethiopia. They speak perfect Turkish. Uh, they have come to love Turkey because they've lived there for four or six years, and then they come back here, which is what we want. We want these educated Ethiopians to come back to Ethiopia and to make sure that they assist Ethiopia in its development, not to stay in Turkey, because this is what we're doing. This, this, we're doing this for this country. And I see that here they are really explaining to their Ethiopian friends what Turkey wants, what Turkey means, why Turkey is such a friendly country. So I think this is a very good policy that we have, and I see that Ethiopian students are very happy to study in Turkey, so we will be continuing this and hopefully increasing the number of scholarships. Turkish drama, a hate among Ethiopian youth, this also uh, strengthens people to people side. 
Yes, I, when I came here, whenever I said I was Turkish, everybody told me about some Turkish TV shows that I didn't even know, but Ethiopians know the Turkish TV shows better than me. I think the reason for this is because they're, we're just so culturally similar. You know, respect towards elders, the family life, uh, relations between the parents and children. It's so similar, the way it happens. The importance of coffee, the importance of sitting around a table eating together. These are all things that are lost in other parts of the world, but Ethiopia and Turkey have kept alive. Life. So uh, when Ethiopians see this on Turkish TV series and they feel an, a closeness and they want to watch it more. But I see now that thanks to that, Ethiopians know Turkish life very well. They know what life is like in Istanbul. They know what life is like in Ankara. And I think we should take uh, advantage of this because now because of these series, a lot of Ethiopians want to learn Turkish, for example. Uh, they want to see more Turkish cinema. They want to see Turkish actors, actresses coming to Ethiopia. So what we have proposed to the Ethiopian government is that we should, as Turkey, open a cultural institute here in Addis Ababa, where we could have Turkish teaching, where there would be nights with cinema, nights with Turkish dances, you know, all of the things that uh, teach people our culture. So we're waiting now to sign an agreement, and hopefully soon we might have a cultural institute here. And of course, Ethiopia would also have one in Turkey if it wished so. For the future, what kinds of activity are planned to be undertaken to scale up diplomatic relationship into high level? Maybe a first a visit of my minister here to Addis Ababa to speak about the remaining issues. Parliamentary visits, signing a preferential agreement, uh, opening this cultural institute, uh, signing many more agreements on issues such as education at, uh, for diplomats. There are, that's the beautiful thing about uh, being ambassador here, I have to tell you, because Ethiopia is such a country where there's so much potential, so much to be done, and the fact that we have very friendly relations allows Turkey to be active here. Uh, so the list is endless. Uh, the list is endless of things that we can do, and we are working very hard every day in matters of education, justice, health, uh, humanitarian aid, uh, political relations, and all of this will help us uh, cement our uh, relations for the future because we need each other. It is a time of difficulty in the world and friends need each other and Turkey and Ethiopia need each other. So we need to stand by together. What Ethiopia can take as a lesson for a new country? I, there is no lesson that Ethiopia can take from Turkey. Ethiopia is a proud, old, strong, uh, very wise civilization. What Ethiopia needs, Ethiopia knows. Uh, there is no lesson that I would ever be able to give or Turkey would ever be able to give. You know what's best for you, and we are here to st be stand by your side as you do what's best for you, as you know how. Uh, what is your big achievement during your stay in Ethiopia? Well, maybe you should ask me that in two years, then I'll be here four years. It's now been two years. I think... Uh, what we have been trying to do is with these Nejashi and Harari uh, buildings, really bringing in the culture of Islam, culture of Turkey into Ethiopia, uh, which you already have. It's your culture. But we just helped you restore some of these uh, buildings, for example. And to be able to, I think I've been talking a lot about, a lot about Turkish culture and how we can increase our relations, uh, trying to raise awareness in Ethiopia about Turkey and, what, and how friendly we are. So hopefully we will be able to go on along those lines. Your final message for the people and the government of both countries. My final message would be, I would like Ethiopia and Ethiopians to remember that Turkey is a, a friend of good times and bad times. When Ethiopia is going through good times, we are here. But when Ethiopia is going through difficult times, we are also here. We don't come for two years and leave. We have always been here by your side, and we will continue to be by your side. We are your permanent friend. That's my message. Thank you very much, uh, Ambassador. Thank you.